Last year, I watched the documentary Fire of Love. It's a film about Katia and Maurice Kraft, two French volcanologists, and it uses footage that they captured while studying volcanoes all across the world to tell their story. When I first watched this, I immediately fell in love with the way that their footage looked, and I've been trying to emulate that look ever since. Recently, the company Dehancer reached out to me and asked me if I would like to make a review about their product, which is a film emulation plugin and I immediately said yes. I've used this product in the past and absolutely love it. And I decided that since I don't live by any volcanoes, I would walk down to the Mississippi and get some shots of the river to show you what you are able to do with this plugin. To me, there are three really important things in order to achieve that film emulation look. Firstly, it's color density. Now with Dehancer, I'm able to get really rich and dense colors that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to get. And I've tried to get by using other plugins and other color grading, uh, like some power grades and LUTs and things like that. Those typically result in artifacting and banding. And when I use Dehancer, that really isn't a problem. It is able to really push and get the most out of my footage without resulting in horrible image quality loss or anything that I've had issues with in the past. The second thing that is really important to getting the film look is the film grain itself. I think Dehancer just does a really great job of incorporating the grain into your image to make it seem natural. And it just looks way better than just putting a film grain overlay that you would get in some like film texture pack. The other thing that is really important, in my opinion, to get that film look is halation. And I found that Dehancer's halation is excellent. Now there are some things I don't really love, namely the film damage. It can kind of seem a little one note and repetitive in a way that film damage is, is not when it naturally happens with film. There are also a ton of different film looks and film profiles that you can choose from, from classic Kodak looks to Fujifilm looks to some expired film looks. And if you're like me, you just will love being able to go in there and really get in the weeds and mess around with really all of the different settings to push your film and see really what this plugin can do for you. I love it. I think it's a phenomenal tool, not just for film emulation, but also just for color grading in general. And I cannot recommend it highly enough. If you're at all interested in trying it out, I highly recommend just downloading it and messing around. It's free to download and they offer a free two week trial license as well. You can download it for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, uh, Adobe After Effects. I can't recommend this highly enough. I think it's an absolutely phenomenal tool. And if you go and try it out and love it just as much as I did, feel free to use my code, CharlieCrawl, to get 10% off the lifetime license for the plugin. They also just recently came out with an iOS app that I've been using for about a week or so. And it's also super simple to use, has a lot of the same features that the plugin does. I think it's definitely worth it if you like the look of film, but are still just kind of dipping your toes into the world of film photography or film filmmaking, I guess. Go try it out. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to the people over at Dehancer for reaching out to me. I really enjoyed making this video and I really hope you enjoyed watching it.